Hi chaps and welcome to this week's video. Uh, I'm just trying to cure the smoky forge because uh, if you remember we, we lit it last week and although once it's alight uh, and burning and hot it's absolutely fine, when you light it this canopy seems to fill with smoke and it spills out around the edges and fills the room, fills the workshop. And I can't understand why it should because the fan you see up there is uh, blowing air up the flue. Right? It goes out of the wall, up the uh, flue, and it carries the draft. There's a good draft here. Uh, I've tried it with a joss stick and it's drawing it in there, now I've taken that cover off. But there doesn't seem to be enough draft to move the bulk of smoke and get it going up the flue. So what I'm going to try and do is I'm going to put a little flue fan on there, just a small one, just to see if that helps to clear the air. Because really, I would like to, I mean, it's, it's winter now, it's very cold, it's pouring with rain outside, and I would like to be able to light this with the doors closed and without smoke in the workshop. Now, there's plenty of air getting into the building, because at the top of this roller shutter door, there's no seal. So the air can get straight over the top of the road and just go into this room. So plenty of air. It just seems that the flue doesn't pick up very quickly. And I don't really know why. So I'm, I'm working on the fan now. When I've got the fan finished, I'll bring you back. We'll fit it and I'm going to go at lighting it and see if we all end up choking. Okay, guys. Right, chaps, let's see what I've come up with. His phone so they can see what he's actually shooting. Right, pop that on there. Right, what I've come up with is this. It's a little uh, centrifugal fan, which I've cut into a plate which fits the flue vent up there. And uh, I've added a tube to it so that the uh, venturi effect takes over. This tube gets slightly smaller towards this end. The fan blows through the middle of the tube. I'll just see if you can see that. The fan blows through the middle of the tube, but there's three ports left open at the sides. And the idea is that the smoke is sucked into there and blown out into the flue and straight into the uh, exit. So it's just gone four o'clock now. So I'm going to uh, fit this and then I'll, uh, I'll try lighting it tomorrow and see if it's made any difference. Let's hope it has. Okay, guys, on to the next bit. There we are chaps, all bolted up into the flue and sealed in with some nice flue cement. So I'll let that harden off and we'll see what tomorrow brings. Catch you all later. Right chaps, well we're back again. Uh, I wish I could tell you that the uh, flue fan was a resounding success but it wasn't so I can never be uh, blamed for only reporting the successes and not the failures. It improved things a little bit, but we still got a lot of smoke, and I've come to the conclusion that I need to improve the extraction on the main flue, possibly even make the main flue higher, because it's just not clear the smoke. And also, when you have two fans, one blowing out of the main flue and one blowing into the main flue, they tend to interfere with each other. As you would expect. Anyway, I've got the forge tonight. I've made my bar for making rivets. I've got a rivet blank in there. I've got a temporary anvil made up, and I've got my gloves, my punch, and hammers ready to go, and a tin to catch the rivets in. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put this in the fire, heat it up, and then I'll get back to you when it's hot and we'll make some rivets. So in she goes, in she goes and on with the fat. Very nice and deep in the fire so that it's not oxidizing. Right that, so I'll bring you back when it's hot. Right chap, let's go for it, see what it's like.
of length. There we have the rivet. Can't get it out. Never mind. I'll get it out. Right, chaps. We're actually on the last rivet because I didn't realise that instead of taking video, I was taking the still. My ineptitude knows no bounds. But I'll get there. Right, chaps. Last one. That annoying chirping you hear in the background is the CO meter going off. Telling me that I've got CO in the room. But I already knew that. I've got all the doors open, so I hardly think it will matter. I hardly think it will matter. And there we go. Give it a good slack off. Give it a good slack off. Cool it down. Right, let's go to do it. Of course, before I uh, before I rivet with these, I'm going to have to check that they're soft because we may have inadvertently harden them. There you go. There we have it, a rivet. Seems like a bit of a long-winded way to make them, but apparently you can't buy them. I've tried to buy 7.30 seconds rivets, nobody has them. So there you go. With the chimes of the wonderful CO alarm, I'll leave you till next week. Thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subscribing, and a nice week to you all.